Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today. Here are the supplies. Lovely lipstick that measures 11 by two and three quarters. Basic gray that measures 10 and a half by three and a quarter. Another piece of basic gray that's for the scallop square. All My Love Designer Series paper that's four and a half by two and a half. And Whisper White for our stamping. If you didn't catch all that, there is a free PDF over on my website. It has all the measurements, the score marks, and everything. Okay? It is free. So we're going to use the Simply Scored Scoring Tool and the um, Stampin' Trimmer to do our scoring. Okay? okay, so I've got the Simply Scored Scoring Tool. We're going to start with the lovely lipstick. We're going to score it at four and three quarters on both sides. You just flip it over four and three quarters. So we're going to take the lovely lipstick and fold this on the score lines. We're going to take the detailed trio punch and round the corners. We're going to take the top of the designer series paper so you want to make sure the hearts are at the top and do the same thing okay now we're going to attach the designer series paper right to the front okay now we're going to take the half inch circle punch you can use the 1 8 if you want that one is retiring and once it's gone, it's gone, okay? So I'm okay with having a larger hole for this box. Half inch circle punch, okay? Now we're gonna set this aside. Okay, so now let's score the basic gray. We're gonna place it on the three and a quarter inch side and we're going to score it at one and five sixteenths. One and five sixteenths is the teeny tiny mark past the uh, one and a quarter. Then we're going to place it on the landscape side and we're going to score it again at one and five sixteenths. Slide it down to score it at five and one sixteenths. Place it on here and score it at six and three eighths and ten and an eighth. Yeah, ten and an eighth. Okay. Fold on the score lines. Okay, so now we're going to cut up to the score line. Remove this section here. And then we're going to angle cut that and angle cut that one, okay? didn't do a very good job of cutting that one there we go so now I'm going to fold those bottoms away and I'm just going to trim the two tabs okay we're going to place our tear and tape here get the piercer Remove the backing. Okay, that's gonna be the back of my box because that's where the seam is. So I'm gonna place my tear and tape on the front bottom, okay? I'm gonna fold this over. Just like that. Okay, there's our box. So now we're going to put one piece of tear and tape on the bottom to hold it inside. And you can actually just put it here because you don't really want adhesive on this because it's not going to cover the whole thing, okay? Okay, my designer series paper is going to go on the front. So I just want to space this equal amounts between the two. 
Sometimes the harder I try, the more I can't do it, right? There we go. Okay, so now we're going to take the gray granite. Even though we're using basic gray cardstock, I'm okay with using gray granite ribbon. I think it looks good. <laughs> Especially when we use the Stampin' Blends to color um, the Gorilla. And then I'm going to take the white uh, Baker's Twine and tie a bow. Why I'm tying the bow, bow um, I want to remind you, don't forget to head over to my website and enter to win the chick candy. Uh, it's going to, it'll, it'll be, there'll be a link to the current one uh, at the bottom of my blog post, like under my current offerings. There'll be a link and then you can go leave a comment on that link. Okay, and then I'm going to trim the ribbon a little. Okay, so I'm going to be using gray granite for the greeting and then memento for the ape. And I'm just going to stamp him on Whisper White. <laughs> How can you not smile when you look at him? He's so cute. And then basic gray, like I said, for the, the greeting. I'm going to cut the greeting out with the one inch circle punch. And yes, it just barely fits, but it fits. And if you wanted to back it with something, you could back it with the one and an eighth scallop. So now we're going to get the big shot and we're going to cut out the ape with the uh, stitched square framelits and the scallop with the layering squares. These are two separate framelits, okay? Big shot. I had a platform and a cutting pad. We'll start with basic gray because that one's easy. We don't have to line up anything. And now we'll cut him out. Okay, so I'm just going to line this up. Uh, it should fit pretty perfectly. Okay, so let's get all of our pieces in here. And then we just have some coloring to do. So we're going to use the uh, light and dark smoky slate along with the light lovely lipstick. That one's okay. So I'm going to take the light first and color his face. I may or may not um, fast forward this. light lovely lipstick like I said you can use the dark if you prefer and then now I'm going to take the dark now if you didn't have the dark you could color his the entire thing with light let it dry and then go over it again with the light and that gives it makes it another shade darker Oops, I just got his face a little. We'll just say there's a hair out of place, right? <laughs> so why I'm coloring this, if I don't fast forward it, I'll let y'all know that my phone stopped working the other night. And, um... Nothing I did would make it work. I went to the Apple store and I had accidentally turned over, turned on voice over control. And it needed to get a hard reset and then it had to get disabled. I was uh, quite disturbed. I went a whole night with no phone and 
a whole half a day. That would have been today, this morning. <laughs> By the time y'all see this video, it'll be several days past, but I'm a little frazzled today, truth be told. Okay, I'm going to turn this over and add my adhesive and then layer it onto the scallop square. I'm going to put a couple stampin' dimensionals on the back. And then I'm going to put a dimensional also on this. Okay, let's get our little container back over here. So I like angling it, but you don't have to if you don't want to. You can put it up and down if you want. But I just kind of thought that it might be nice to, to angle it. Yeah. And take the backing off of this one. You want to put the dimensional more towards the bottom so that it overlaps when you don't have to, but that was just my way of thinking. <laughs> okay, so here's the original. Here's the one we just made. Super cute, right? Don't forget, head over to my website to leave a comment for the chick candy, the current one. It'll be at the bottom of my website, and it'll give you a link, okay? Thanks a lot. Bye.